أعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين اللهم إنا نحمدك حمدا كثيرا طيبا يرضيك يا أرحم الراحمين نحمدك على نعمة الإسلام ونحمدك على نعمة الإيمان ونحمدك على أن جعلتنا سبحانك وتفضلت وتكرمت وتعطفت علينا وجعلتنا من أمة خير الأنام محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم My dear respected brothers and sisters, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. This is your brother Jalal Abdul Wahid, Imam Masjid Ar Rahman, Turban Spring, Florida. Associate with uh, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Amin Masjid Al Nur in uh, Wesley Chapel, Florida. And I have the honor, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Amin, to be with you every day in Ramadan. Can you? Can you believe that tomorrow, inshallah, it's going to be the first night of Tahajjud, meaning the first uh, start, the t- last 10 days in Ramadan? Can you imagine? Allah, subhanAllah, I just remember like uh, almost yesterday that we said to everybody, mashallah, subhanAllah, al-azim, Ramadan Mubarak, Ramadan Kareem, Ramadan Mubarak. May Allah bless you. My dear respected brothers and sisters, Ameen, Ya Rabbil Ameen. And I ask Allah Azza wa to accept your good deed. I ask Allah Azza wa to give you always the good deed in your in your life. Accept your fasting, accept your your prayer, accept your dua, accept your uh, good deed, accept your uh, praying, accept your your uh, ruku' and sujood toward Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Dear respected brothers and sisters, inshallah, our topic today is going to be about we know about the fast food, right? Most of the people today, they, they don't have no time. And they eat very fast. They can eat while they are walking and they walk there while they are eating. They, um, they can eat while they are working. They can... Uh, it's not like, like like before, and before meaning like when we gather together in one uh, in, in one table, and everybody gathered together. And, and what, this is what really, wallahi, one of my wishes was what one of my advice. I advise you and myself, wallahi, to do that. Gather together with the family, and uh, we used to have, uh, for example, the food. Then after that, uh, or people. I'm not gonna. To talk about myself, but people used to have like food after food. They have the fruit after fruit. They have tea after the tea. They have coffee. Then after that, they have dessert. So long story, you never end. So, but it was enjoyment. I mean, most of the people was like it was enjoyed these days. Not only in Ramadan, but you know these days that they have they gather together as as a family. Uh, very important but uh, let's talk actually today not about the food because i know that everybody hungry including me but let's talk about the uh, friend is there a, a we know that there is a fast food is there a fast friend so now i know one friend and tomorrow now when we're not friends no more after tomorrow we're not friends no more no let's talk about the the true friendship who is your friend? Ask yourself, my dear respected brothers and sisters. Who is your friend? What is the value of the friend? The friend is the best friend is the Abu Bakr Siddiq to the Prophet of Allah sallallahu alayhi wasallam. Peace and blessing be upon him. When the Prophet of Allah alayhi salatu wasalam, he was an an and so Al Isra and Al Maharaj in the night of the Isra. The second day, he said to the people. He said to them that I was in Masjid Al-Aqsa. And he said that I pray there and uh, Abu Jahl and Abu uh, Abu Lahab, they catch this, the disbelievers, you know, they catch this upon Prophet of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and they try to use it as a weapon, weapons against him. And they saw Abu Bakr Siddiq coming, you know, from far side, they run to him and they say to him, Oh, Abu Bakr, come, come, Habibi. Let's see your friend, your best friend, what he's saying. He thought, or he think, or he's saying, or he claim. It's meaning something not true. You know, he said, Yazum, you know, 
It's meaning something never been true. That's what they meant. يزعم أنه that, that, that it's already he went to Masjid Al-Aqsa and they told him the story. So they make it as a fun. So what the, what the, the Abu Bakr Siddiq said? إن كان, إن كان قال if he said so, so he's, I believe him. So they said to him, how come? How come you believe him in something unbelievable? Unbelievable with the regular mind. Because, because that time there is no airplane, that time there is no like uh, no fast cars nothing at all so he said to them i believe him when he when he talk about allah and about the quran about the about the hereafter so why shouldn't i didn't believe him and on that you see this is the true friend this is the true friendship and we need really to to learn about that and we really want to have this kind of friendship in our life of course, not like the friendship between the Abu Bakr Siddiq and the Prophet of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, but we need to to walk like uh, as a finger or as uh, as a footprint of the Prophet of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We need really to do that. We need to follow the steps of this great and wonderful uh, relationship. There is a, one of the righteous people, same like you, and his uh, daughter. His daughter, uh, somebody knocked the door and he opened the door, she opened the door and uh, she said to uh, to her dad that one of his friends, he wants some money. And he gives her the money and after she uh, she left, uh, after uh, uh, the guy, when he took the money and he left, she begs to her dad and she found her dad crying and she said to him, why cry? My dad, you already gives him the money, he said, because I did not feel him. I, I wait way too long. I should feel that he is in need. I should feel that before he come to me and ask for the money and, and knock the door. I shouldn't. I shouldn't wait all that. Dear respected brothers and sisters, the friendship is very, very important. The friendship is one of the most important things in our life. Imam Malik the Imam Malik, he is the, you know, the, the, the Shafi'i, Imam Shafi'i, he is the student of Imam Malik. So there is something happened between them, you know, in, in fiqh, in, in, you know, in fiqh. Some, some matter happened between them. So Imam Shafi'i, he didn't come the second day for the, for the lecture for Imam Malik. So Imam Malik, he went to his house and he knocked the door and he said to him, Ya Shafi'i, O Shafi'i, you know, how many things we are gathered together when we agreed upon. So for one thing, one thing, you did not come for uh, for the for this topic or for this lecture. Your respected brothers and sisters, I just give you an example with this great people, great scholars, great companions to the Prophet of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. You know, you, remember, you of course, all of you know Abu Dhar al-Ghafari. May Allah be pleased with him. And all of you know better than me, Bilal ibn Rabah. Bilal ibn Rabah and Abu Dhar al-Ghafari, they, they were very good friends. Then after that, Bilal ibn Rabah, I mean Abu Dhar al-Ghafari, something happened between them. And he called him, you are the daughter of the black woman. Wow. This is too much. So what uh, Bilal ibn Rabah did? Can we see the reaction now? The reaction. Some one of them, he has to, to wait for the friendship. He has to, to value the, the relationship or the friendship or to be the friends. You know, some one, one of them, if something happened, between two people, you know, if both of them get angry, it's meaning this bad. No, some one of them he has to to take it. Okay, he, I, I don't know. Maybe maybe he's he's little angry or something else, you know. And and that's why we need really to to do. For example, when when we go our houses, whatever happened in your in, in your work, if it bad, if you are nervous, if you are angry, if you are mad. Keep this separate. 
and when you, when you go to your house, when you go to your wife, when you go to your, your, your kids and your children, it's different. It is totally different. Do not like uh, blame them for something they didn't do. You know, so so this is the way it's supposed to be, my respected brothers and sisters. Bilal ibn Rabah, what happened after that? He went to the Prophet of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He did not say nothing to uh, Abu Dhar al-Ghafari. He doesn't say to him. He didn't react. Nothing. But he went to the Prophet of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and he told him. Why he told him? Because this hurt him. I'm got, I get hurt from my best friend. You know, this is not the way it's supposed to be. But at the same time, he did not say to him, you know what you say to me, that's about my mom. How about your mom is such and such and such? No, no. We talk about one, two of the best companions. So the Prophet of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said to Abu Dhar al-Ghafari, he said to him, Ayyartahu Bumbi. You call his mom just like that? He said, yes, I did. Now Abu Dhar al-Ghafari, he admit, and he said, yes, I did. Yes, O Prophet of Allah, I did. He did the mistake. Then what happened? And, and, and even in a relationship, there is it's supposed to be one to be judged between them. And that's why the, uh, Abu Bilal ibn Rabah, he went to the Prophet of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa and he told him the story. This is what happened. And the Prophet of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa when he called Abu Dhar al-Ghafari, and Abu Dhar al-Ghafari, he admit, and he said, yes, I did that. Then uh, the Prophet of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa he said to him, you have some ignorance. He doesn't say to him, you, you are ignore, you are from the ignorance people, or you are ignorance. No. He said to him, you have some. So what happened? What happened after that? Did he just like everything is gone? No. Abu Dhar al-Ghafari, you know what he said? Abu Dhar al-Ghafari in front of the old companions. Because he did a mistake. He put his cheek on the earth, down, on the floor. And he said to Bilal, I will not leave if without you coming and put your feet or your foot on my cheek or my cheek. Can you, can, can you imagine that much? Yes. Of course, Bilal ibn Rabah he doesn't do it. He did not do it. He didn't agree to do that. But end of the day, they became again best of friends. This is the this is the value of the friend, my dear respected brothers and sisters. The friend is your moon. I feel that I did did I did I say the subjects before? There uh, I did it one in, in Juma. That's what I remember that I did this subject in Juma. I do not remember. I went to Masjid. Uh, which Masjid? Allahu Akbar. Anyway, forgive me if I said this topic before, subhanAllah al -Azim, but I feel that it's value to say it. But I don't think that I said it in Masjid uh, uh, An-Nur before. No, when I came, I did the uh, khutbah, Jum'ah, and it was about the true leaders, true leaders, the prophet, uh, about the Prophet of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. I remember. No, I didn't do that. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. I'm just thinking with you loud, like we said, and I love, like like I said to you, I love really participate, please. And I need, uh, I, I'm just really asking you, I need um, the feedback. Say, yes, it's okay, we, we're good, you're the worst man, just say anything. And I will accept it, inshallah, I mean, but I know that you are so generous and they will not say that. And I love all of you for the sake of Allah. Wallahi, I really respect all of you. And me, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, get this benefit and put it in, in, in our scale and your scale, inshallah, in a day of judgment. Ameen, ya Rabbil Alameen. My respected brothers and sisters, your friend is the one who take you, you know, who advise you for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He, he did not be scared or afraid. He will say to you the truth. You know, your friend, he will, if, if you do some mistake, he will say to you, my brother or my sister, no, don't do that. Why? You, but you are right. You are wrong. If you are right, he will say, yes, you are right. If you are wrong, he will say, no, you are wrong. Why? Because he loves you for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He didn't love you because of the 
a kind of relationship because of money, because of anything, position, nothing of, of those. Love for the sake of Allah Azza wa Jal. The true love. The true love. The true meaning of love. Your friend. Your friend being same like the, the star at the night time. You know, your friend being like, like the flashlight at night. Your friend can take you from your hand to the Jannah. Inshallah Rabbil Alameen. Why? Because every time he's seeing you, let's go to hear lecture. For example, in Masjid al-Rahman or Masjid al-Nur or any Masjid, in houses of Allah. Let's go and, 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 and pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Let's attend this, uh, you know, there is, they said that some sheikh is in, in that Masjid. Let's go and see him. You know, subhanallah al -Azim. this is the true friend. This is the, your friend. He the one who take you to the Jannah. Inshallah Rabbil Alameen. Do respected brothers and sisters. It is very important to give a time for your friend. Your friend, for example, if he if he asks you or he say to you that I uh, I have some problem, for example, with uh, with my wife, and he chose you to talk to him, take and leave some time to him, listen to him. And treat the problem that it is your problem. It looks like your problem, your own problem. And advise him for the sake of Allah Azza wa And say to him, this is the right and this is the wrong. Because any one of us, when he inside the problem itself, if he could see the problem big. Maybe the problem is not that much big. But at least he choose you. He choose you, not for the money, not everything with the money. But he choose you to... To talk to him, to you know, to, to advise him. He wants your advice. He wants to be with you. So maybe if something happened between him and his wife, and his wife, he doesn't want. He didn't want the 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 problem to to get bigger. He didn't want to talk to his mother-in-law, for example, or his father-in-law. He didn't want to even to talk to his mom or to his to his dad. He didn't want to talk you know, in front of the children. None of those. But he chose you. Give him from your time. Give your friend and your brother or your sister from your time. This is so important. So this is your friend that he, you know your friend at the time of the hardship, uh, on the time of the difficulty. One of the uh, of the scholars, I know, I, I heard that, and uh, this is the story. I heard it, that one of the scholars that uh, he said to his, his, uh, his, uh, his son, he said to him, Dad, um there is a lot of friends to me i said to him you sure he said yes he said to him okay tell them that uh, you are in need for some money or you are you get hurt and you want some you know some one of them you want one of them even to come uh, to you so he did that and he called all of them nobody responded they heard him and they said ah okay because actually you know what happened then he said to him I'll do the same thing. And he called one of his friends. Now the dad, the father, he talked to one of his friends. And he said to him, I, I'm not feeling good. Maybe I will not come, you know, to you tonight or out with you tonight. After he just closed the phone, after a little while, he found the guy came to him by himself. He came to him and said to him, what happened? Are you okay? I heard that you you, you didn't you did not feel well. What happened? You know, there is another uh, one. He's a doctor. He's a doctor, and uh, his wife actually made make a, she, she had a surgery, and um, a lot of people calling him. I hope to you, of course. You know, I hope Allah Subhanahu wa Taala gives you and your wives and your kids long and good age, inshallah, and to be healthy all the time, inshallah, Rabbil Alameen. So a lot of people calling him, hello, how are you, how are you doing? Do you need any, if you need anything, call me. If you need anything, call me. So he said like, thank you, thank you, Jazakallah khair, may Allah bless you. But he found one of his friends there with him, with him, and he said to him, you know what, give me the prescription. I'm going to go to buy the prescription from the pharmacy. Give me the what you need. Tell me what you need. You stay with your wife and tell me what you need. This is the true friend. The true friend that when you, when you when you want him, you need him. When you need him, you found him. He is there. He is there for you. 
It's not a fake love. It's not a fake feeling. It's not a fa fake love. No, it's it's a true feeling. It's true friendship. You know, your friend can take you to the Jannah. Yes. You know, in a day of judgment, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that in the Quran. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. فَمَا لَنَا مِنْ شَافِعِينَ وَلَا صَدِيقٍ حَمِيمٍ Allahu Akbar. Shafi'een is meaning they, فَمَا لَنَا مِنْ شَافِعِينَ is meaning they can, they can even to be shafi'ah, to be, Allahu Akbar, your best friend, your best friend can be the reason for you to, to, subhanallah al-azim, to, to introduce that in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Sadiqun Hameen, your friendship, your friend in, in dunya, inshallah Rabbil Ameen gonna be with you in the hereafter. Your friend, he's the one who loves you and loves you for, for the sake of Allah Azza wa Jal. This is so important. Not only that just like fake feeling, fake love, fake, uh, when you need him, he will say something, you know, and he, he pretend only by words. Our relation, we need to look to to our relationship, my dear respected brothers and sisters. Like when you when you see your bank, you know, statement, your bank statement, and you see that uh, what you did at the whole year, or what you did and uh, at the, you know at, at the previous month or something. So we need really to to look at that. Also, for examples, for the best friends from the companions, we have uh, we have Omar bin Khattab. May Allah be pleased with him. Amin, Ya Rabbil Alameen. And Abdul Rahman ibn Auf. They were best friends. Both of them, best friends to each other. Even they said to each other, whoever die before the you know, before the first one, he had to attend his janazah and he had to, to make pray, you know, on him, like like janazah prayer upon him. And if it's possible, he can come to him in his dream to say to him what happened and what he saw. Can you imagine? And actually, this has happened. This has happened when Umar ibn Khattab get killed when he pray Fajr. Subhanallah al Abdul Abdurrahman ibn Auf, he was at the second, right, right behind him. Right behind him. Abdurrahman ibn Auf, one of the great, great companions. The respected brothers and sisters, there is a lot of stories about the companions. But there is a lot. We need to hear these stories now, today. We need the value. We need the value of this friendship. Of this friendship. Wallahi, I just remember right now. Arif, may Allah bless your soul. Arif, ameen, ya Rabbil Alameen. May Allah bless you, Arif, and, and put you in Jannah. Ameen, ya Rabbil Alameen. Arif was in Masjid uh, Sly in, uh, in Tampa. I know Arif for like 20 years. Uh, Arif, uh, he the first one open the door, Sly, Masjid, he the first one, open the door, and he the first one, of course, turn the light on, and turn the uh, the AC on, and turn the mic on. Then after that, he called someone, and he said to him, come, make adhan. And he is himself, he's muaddin, he make the adhan. Arif, Arif a wonderful person, wonderful personality, subhanAllah al -Azim. Arif, he is, he is the one who smile to everyone he knows, and he doesn't know even subhanallah al -Azim. i tell you how he died wallahi allah is my witness this is this this is real arif uh, he pray fajr in masjid sly he pray dhuhr in masjid uh, rahim he pray dhuhr in masjid i think umar and he pray maghrib in masjid masjid uh, gun highway gun, gun highway masjid then he back and, 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 and pray Aisha in Masjid Sly again. Then he went to his house and before Fajr, he died in his house. So at the time of the janazah of, of, of Brother Arif, I said to them, I take the mic, microphone, and, and, I, and I said to them, I said to them, do you, want to, do you want somebody to talk about Arif? It's not me. Let's talk. Let's talk to the Masjid. Let's ask the walls of the masjid this is real it's real story this is the best friend this is the one who encouraged you always Allah by Allah if sometimes I stay I stay behind the wall 
you know, in order for him to make a then. And he said to me, I see you. I don't know how you see me. I'm behind the wall. He said to me, I see you. Come, come, make a then. Allahu Akbar. He is the one who's so humble. He is the one who gives the people the, 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 the chocolate uh, all the time. At the time he, he, he died, and the day he died, I was in supermarket and I was really very sad. So one of my other friends, he, he met me and he said to me, what happened? I said to him, our brother, Arif, he passed away. He died. So he said to me, I do not remember him. So I show him the picture in my phone. I saw him, his, I, I show him his, his photo. And his son with him, he said to him, this is the man who just gave me the, you know, sweets, you know, what they call candy. This is the one who gets, just gives me candy. So can you imagine, with respect, the brothers and sisters, he, if he know you, or, or he didn't, if, if he maybe he didn't know you, he will say to you, "Assalamu alaikum, how are you? How you doing? How's your husband? Or if you are a sister, if you are, a, if you are a man, he will say to you, "How's your wife? How's your, how's your kids? How's your family? Do you need anything, my brother? Tell me, do you need anything? Allahu Akbar! What a wonderful person! What a great person! Great personality! Subhanallah al -Azim. I wish, Allah, I have his picture, you know, with me, so I can show it to you now, life. This is the true friend, the positive, the positivity, you know. This is what we need in our life. Someone loving you for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. No relationship, no position, no money, no honey, nothing of those. Nothing through this materialistic life at all. He loves you because he loves you. Because he loves everyone for the sake of Allah Azza wa Wallahi, by Allah. His janaza, his janaza, I never seen until now. I, I have 20, 20 years, 21 years in America now. I never seen janaza like his janaza until now. And it was very hot day. And Wallahi, Allah is my witness. I don't know who bring his story, subhanAllah al -Azim. May Allah bless you, Arif. I mean, Ya Rabbi. Bless his soul and all Muslims' souls. I mean, Ya Rabbi al You know what happened in his in his janaza? Wallahi, Wallahi, this is real happened. And I believe that there was a lot of people they are witness upon that. We saw a cloud, cloud in the sky. Subhanallah al -Azim. Wallahi. You know, you know, you know, just like there, just in the in, in, in the sky, and it was blue sky, nothing at all, blue blue sky. Allahu Akbar. They, it, it just like uh, it blocked the sun from us until we finished his prayer, his uh, uh, until we buried him. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Then after that, it's gone. This is Arif. This is Arif, my respected brothers and sisters. This is Arif. Allahu Akbar. This is the true friend. Where is this friendship now? Where is it? We need this kind of friendship. We need it. We need your friend. It's meaning. It's meaning he the one who he is there when you need him. Alaikum salam wa This is this is the true. This is the true friendship. This is the true who 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 encourage you to do good. What happened between you and your wife? But what happened? What why you make her mad? No, your wife is a good person. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Encourage he encouraged you to do good and to be good. Why you didn't take your kids outside? Why? Subhanallah al -Azim. The true relationship, the true friendship is the one who advise you to do good. And I know, alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, that all of you are righteous people and all of you are good people. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you, my dear respected brothers and sisters. May Allah give you the mercy and open to you the doors of mercy and doors of tranquility. May Allah azza wa jal like prevent you from all kind of sicknesses and badnesses and 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 anything harm you and i i ask allah azza wa jal to gather us together with the prophet of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam in jannat al firdaus amin ya rabbil alamin i ask allah azza wa jal to gives you good health and you make he makes you healthy and makes you like like very very rich but like we said before you remember yes we said when you are rich Put the dunya, put the money in your bucket. Do not put the money in your heart. Put the dunya, put the materialistic dunya, you know, in your in, in your in your in your in your bucket, not in your, not in your heart. You know, 
لكن الله عز وجل said يا بني آدم O children of Adam خذوا زينتكم عند كل عند 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 كل مسجد الله أكبر وكلوا واشربوا ولا تسرفوا ولا تسرفوا سورة الأعراف It's meaning go ahead and eat go ahead and drink go ahead and have good life have a good have a good cars have a good uh, have a good wife alhamdulillah rabbil alamin have a good kids you know have a good life have a good car and good house and good job but where do not forget the masjid why why because in the masjid you are you are, you are with allah azza wa jal you belong to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you will remember allah azza wa jal in a masjid your heart can be soft your heart can have a lot of tranquility and mercy your heart is going to be filled with other people. I ask Allah Azza wa Jal to connect our hearts always, always with the houses of Allah. I ask Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala to give you a very long age and you'll be happy and you and you have any kind of deed for the sake of Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala. I ask Allah Azza wa Jal to elevate your 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 status in Jannah. Inshallah Rabbil Alameen. I ask Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala to give you always, always the great relationship and the true friend in your life. Amen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. Allahumma inna nas'aluka al-rahamat wa nas'aluka al-wufran, Ya Arham al-Rahameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. Allahumma inna nas'aluka al-satr. Allahumma, Allahumma sturna bi sitrika al-azim. Allahumma sturna wa la tafdahna fi dunya wa la fi al-akhira. Wa la yawm al-arda alayka, Ya Arham al-Rahameen. La tafdahna. وسط خلقك ولا أمام ملائكتك ولا يوم العرض عليك يا رب العالمين اللهم هب لنا من لدنك عملا طيبا صالحا يرضيك يا أرحم الراحمين يوصلون إليك يا رب العالمين يا أرحم الراحمين يا رب العالمين Dear respected brothers and sisters It was a pleasure and it's always a pleasure to be with you والله I love you for the sake of Allah سبحانه وتعالى and forgive me if I take too long forgive me and uh, it is really important to me to know the feedback, if it's possible. And uh, if you need us to talk, you know, about anything else, you must all come to write. Uh, and if you, if you really need uh, to talk about any topic or if you have any question, most will come. Inshallah, Rabbil Alameen. We will. We will do it, and we will we will talk about it, inshallah, Rabbil Alameen, as uh, as soon as possible. May Allah bless you. May Allah subhanahu wa taala guide you always to. May Allah accept your fasting. May Allah accept your good deed, inshallah, Rabbil Alameen. And I see you tomorrow, inshallah. Our brother Sheikh Ibrahim Al Jibali, he didn't come today because he's he's uh, he, he is busy and still has some pain. May Allah bless him. I mean, Rabbil Alameen. Jazakallah khairan, and may Allah bless you all. My dear respected brothers and sisters, Amin Rabbil Alameen, and I see you tomorrow, inshallah Rabbil Alameen, with our brother tomorrow, Thursday, our brother uh, Dr. Muhammad Rabin, inshallah, one of the best, inshallah. Don't forget, inshallah, Saturday and Sunday with our brother uh, Ala Atiyah. May Allah bless you, my dear respected brothers and sisters, Amin Rabbil Alameen, Jazakumullah Khairan, Wassalamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Ta'ala, Wabarakatuh. Alhamdulillah.